So in today's video, I have a braided wig for you guys. This is a high-end braided wig. So I'm working with Neat and Sleek again. Shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. It has been a long time since I've done a braided wig, but we got her together and she looks very, very good. Actually, by the time you guys see this video, I'll actually have real knotless braids installed. So um, this is so funny because this looks, this looks really good, y'all. So I'm going to show you guys the you know how it looks right out the pack and I'm going to compare it to a synthetic braided wig that they sent me just so you guys can see what you're paying for because they are more expensive than your sensational or your outres those kinds of braided wigs so if you're interested in seeing how I got this look together then just keep on watching all right guys so you saw from the intro uh you know what the wig looked like all finished and everything but I'm going to show you how I got that process so um, I haven't reviewed a braided wig in a while. It's been like a year and a half, uh, probably even two years. So I used to do braided wigs in 2018, 2019, and 2020, like at the beginning, but I haven't in a while. So um, I think braided wigs are still great, especially if you suffer from hair loss, you're just busy and you don't want to, you know, sit for hours and get your hair braided. It's nice to still have braided wigs as an option. Um, because when I take my actual knotless braids out, sometimes I want the braided look. So sometimes I'll wear it with a head wrap just and just have the, the braids hanging down. So I'm going to show you guys the packaging and everything. Now, Neat and Sleek is a higher end company. Their prices are more expensive. So you need to keep that in mind. This is not like, you know, sensational or outre's synthetic braided wigs. So with them doing all the customization as far as like bleaching the knots and using a human hair base for their braided wigs, you're going to have to pay more for that. So keep that in mind. If you are on a budget, you probably want to go with a synthetic braided wig. I have some featured on my channel from 2019, but I'm going to be honest, I've never liked them. Uh, I don't think I liked any of the synthetic ones I tried back in 2019. And I was just like so turned off by them that I just didn't try any more. But if you see any like good ones for me to try, I'll, I'll consider it. But a lot of them just, no. I would just rather invest in something nicer and get exactly what I want. So the wigs come in these satin sacks right here. Here's the wig here. I have the wig Nikki. Well, they sent me a synthetic one and they sent me Nikki to kind of show you guys the difference of what you get when you, you know, purchase them. So I'm going to compare them really quick before I apply Nikki. Okay, so here is a synthetic one. And this is a 4x4 synthetic one. So what I notice is the knots are very dark. The knots are very dark. There's ways around that to fix that. Of course, you can use just use powder. They have they have this. Um, I have the perfect the perfect line concealer grid concealer, so you can hide your your knots that way. I haven't used it yet, but I've you know seen a lot of videos on it, and um, one of my subscribers recommended that I try that. The braids are cute though; like they look very neat. But let's just try it on and see what it looks like. I mean, these baby hairs would have to go. I would cut them right off because they look ridiculous. <laughs> but um, the braids itself, they it just looks bulky and unrealistic. So this is what this looks like. It's not, um, the braids are nice, but the what's going on with the hairline and the baby hairs and everything, I wouldn't prefer this at all. So, let's take that off. <laughs> and let's look at Nikki. So, Nikki is a full lace wig. And I have it in Wasteland. That's the thing about neat and sleek and getting, you know, braided wigs from nicer companies, higher quality companies. You do have more customization and options. 
um, you have the option of getting full lace wigs or lace front wigs. This length, I have it in a 1B and I have a medium cap. So this is what this wig looks like. This is full, full lace, so you have lace in the back as well. So what it looks like on my hand, the knots are bleached. As you can see, there's no black dots there. That's very nice. Um, I do have sparse baby hairs on mine because I will say I have tried several braided wigs um, at this point. I think I've tried several. I've probably tried about five. No, I've probably tried about maybe eight braided wigs. And I've noticed you need a little bit of baby hair. You don't need a lot, but I did a review a couple of years ago and I did it without baby hair. It looked great on camera, but when I went to the grocery store, like in real life, it looked weird without baby hair. So it's needed. You, even if it's the most minimal and subtle, it still needs it because when I wear actual braids, I wear baby hairs. So, so let's take a look at this cap construction. Full lace cap, you got lace everywhere. You have a comb on the right and left side. You have an adjustable elastic band. You have that lace that goes all the way around. So this is like a 360 cap construction. Then we have a comb in the back and adjustable strap. So a lot more features there. And I'm gonna be doing the ball cap method, the bald cap method today, even though I don't like doing that, but I wanna make this a really good install. Like already this looks <laughs> so much better. As it should though, okay? This is what you're paying for when you invest in more expensive wigs. So this is what it looks like just plopped on my just plopped on my head. This is really really cute. Okay, so I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to go ahead and do the ball cap method. Tell me something. 
are back and I have applied this wig. Uh, it was a process. So I want to emphasize the point that yes, braided wigs are, there's pros and cons between braided wigs and actually getting braids installed. So with actually getting braids installed, uh, you don't have to fool with lace. You're actually using your own hair and your scalp so you don't have to worry about lace blending down and that kind of stuff. You don't have to do the bald cap method. But the trade-off is the price is about the same though um, depending on where you are. So this wig is probably in the $400, probably $500 uh, range and depending on where you live braids can, knotless braids can get up there especially when you get into like hip length and knee length and stuff like that. The thing about real braids is after a while probably a few weeks your hair is going to grow out and you're going to get new growth and they're not going to look fresh but with a braided wig they're always going to look fresh you just have to know how to make your lace match you have to you don't necessarily have to do the bald cap method but i do like the result of it it does look more like scalp to me but you can get a scalp like look without doing the bald cap method because i've done that before yeah so there there's trade-offs with both of them so there's pros and cons so just keep keep in mind uh what you prefer so so i did the bald cap method i find it to be very annoying i hate doing the bald cap method but i like the result of it. I just used my even adhesive spray in the black bottle. I couldn't find my got to be gel in the black bottle to like help further melt it, but I still made it work. I actually was using my edge control, my edge booster edge control to melt it. I just used the back of my edge control uh, spatula right here and just kind of smoothed down my lace and it looks really, really good guys. This feels very lightweight. Braided wigs that are full lace wigs tend to be more lightweight so this is going to be great for summer. If you glue this down like use actual glue you can make this install last like a week or two. I've never used glue. I don't really like that. I'm cool with temporary uh, adhesives. I'm actually going to be taking this off and re reviewing another wig after I did all this work but um yeah, there's pros and cons with both and I could see why somebody would go for this instead of getting in your actual hair braided. This looks really natural guys and not only does it look good indoors, I did a sunlight test for you guys as I do. Um, I wasn't doing sunlight tests back at the early, at the beginning of 2020 and you know 2019 and 2018 when I was doing braided wigs so I don't think I was like in certain pictures and stuff of what it looks like in sunlight and it looks good. Like the lace looks really, really good in natural light. It melts down very well. Of course, it is still fabric. It is still lace. It is not going to completely disappear because it's a fabric and it's not your skin, but it looks good to me. So very impressed with this wig and that's why it's so expensive because they go out of their way, you know, customize it and make it easier for you. So. The lace is very thin and it melts down very well. The knots are already bleached so you don't have to worry about like those black dots everywhere. Um, I did add some powder just to make it a little bit lighter because I feel like this lace is just like a little bit darker than my complexion so I just lightened it up with some powder. And I think it looks good on camera as well but it certainly looks good outside where it counts. So the ends are nice and tapered. The braids are consistent from root to tip. Um, they just taper and get smaller. They look very good. They look very good. So I'm going to probably include this in my spring summer wig recommendations video because I do realize that even if you don't suffer from hair loss, you might want to go with something like this for a temporary look. You might not want to keep braids in for four to six weeks or whatever, or even longer. You might just want that braided look temporarily, like me. Like sometimes I just want the look, but I don't want to keep it in that long. So, and this cap size fits very comfortably because I've tried a knotless braid, braided wig before, and it was so small I could barely get it on my head. This feels very comfortable. Like I'm not even thinking about it. Overall, very impressed. Very impressed with this wig. Um, and they have a lot of variety on their website. They have butterfly locks. They have, um, I saw some twisted wigs on there. You um, want different styles. They do have something on there for you probably. So a uh, shout out to Neat and Sleek for sponsoring today's video and shout out to you guys for tuning in. Yeah, this turned out really cute. So thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't yet for more content. I have a lot more content coming for you guys. And not just wig reviews, uh, home decor content, fashion, 
I do a little bit of everything over here and it's going to be on my channel. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at iFancyCupcakes and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, oh, oh.